Welcome back everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor with another Halo 4 gameplay commentary. As always, you know you're going to get my signature tips and tricks on an authentic Halo 4 gameplay video. I've got a fantastic game for you today. This is a free-for-all game type, Regicide on the map Haven. It's a great game and I'm going to tell you a little bit about this new game type. It's very fun, it's very exciting, I think you're going to love it, I know I do. I'm going to give you some tips for how you can win when you play this game type. And I'm going to make a few observations that nobody else is making, nobody else is talking about, and I think they're a pretty big deal. So let's dive in here. Um, first of all, Regicide, what is that? Well, Regicide is uh, to kill the king, okay? And so that's the name of the game here, and that's what you're, you're, you set out to do. Now, the king is the player who has the highest point total at any point get during the game, right? So I get the first strike here. I have the most points. Uh, so I become king right off the bat. Now I'm killed, and the trick with this game type is whoever kills the king gets 15 uh, bounty points, right? And so it's very advantageous to get out there and kill the king because you get a few extra points if you do so. Uh, now you still get 10 points for killing other players, so um, you don't need to focus solely on the king, but that's where most of the action occurs. Um, if the king is able to survive for extended periods of time and begins going on killing sprees, then the bounty gets uh, a lot higher, right? And so you get not just 15 bounty points for killing the king, but sometimes 25 or more. So the bounty continues to add up uh, the longer that the person is able to maintain their, their position as the king. And there's some benefits to, to being the king. Uh, initially, there's no benefits uh, except for the fact that you know people are just going to start coming after you. And you might have some opportunities to get a few kills. But if you can survive for 30 seconds as the king, you do get an overshield power-up, which basically doubles your shields. I'm going to get that here in about 60 seconds. So uh, I become king right here. And actually, in 30 seconds from now, I'm going to get that overshield power-up. Okay, if you can manage to make it to 90 seconds, okay, then you get a damage boost, right? Which is where your shots are much more powerful. Now, if I don't know how in the world you could last 90 seconds on a free-for-all as the king. Uh, that'd be very, very difficult to imagine. But I know that this game type is available in a Team Slayer variety, and so it may be possible in a Team Slayer variety to stay alive for 90 seconds. There's my overshield. You'll see it comes in handy here because I'm getting double teamed. Uh, I'm able to escape, get one kill, allow my shields to recharge. I'm going to get a second kill before I'm taken down. So those overshields bought me a little extra time, enough to get two kills before I died. Right. So continuing to rack up my point totals here and uh, uh, basically cushion my lead. Now speaking of the lead, uh, one thing when you're playing this game, you want to be very mindful of whoever is in second place. Right. Uh, if you're the king, obviously you're in first place, and your main competitor is that player in second place. And the last thing you want to do is let that second place player take you down while you're the king because he's going to get that point boost. He's going to be able to come back and uh, tie you up on the, the top pole, right? So uh, you want to be very mindful of who is the king, or, you know, who is the king, definitely, but uh, who's in second place when you're the king. And whenever that second place player comes around, you're probably better off just hightailing it out of there. Right, because you don't want any chance to uh, give him any points that that he doesn't, you know, need to get. Right, uh, it, it's far better if you're gonna die to a lesser player, right, who doesn't have quite as threatening point total as the the player in second place. So uh, those are a few tips specifically for regicide. I wanted to talk a little bit about um, you know free for alls in general. Uh, free for alls. One of the best ways to approach a free for all game type is to try to come in kind of at the end of skirmishes and clean up kills, right? You'll see I do that right here, and I do that throughout this game very well. Um, I, I get a double kill quickly, and then watch this. I whip out my magnum pistol for a really clutch third kill. Don't quite get the triple, but three kills in a few seconds. And you do that by coming into skirmishes kind of at the last minute and just cleaning those guys up. Uh, you know, I cannot count how many times I've got some real easy double and triple kills with that strategy. Right, so that's something to keep in mind with any free-for-all game type. Just kind of hang back for a moment, kind of on the outskirts, and then when shields start to drop, you run in there, you can just start pounding away, lobbing grenades, and you can get a lot of multi-kills that way. It's very, very effective. 
I do want to speak a little bit about uh, the map Haven as well, which that's the that map I have here. In my last video, I had a poll question asking what uh, video or what maps people liked the most. And I'd have to say that so far, I think I like this map the most. Um, this is a really great map. It's, it seems like it's just the right size. Um, you know, it's big enough that you're not swarming all over each other all the time. You have a little room to breathe. But it's small enough, and there's some really great ways to get around the map. You have some lifts that take you from the bottom edges to the top center. And those are a very effective way to get around. Uh, it's kind of a circular map, and so all you know, it really all the action kind of flows very, very well throughout the course of the game. And uh, it just seems like it's just the right size, flows very well. I think it's an absolutely beautiful map. It kind of reminds me of the architecture from Narrows. Um, which I really liked the architecture there and this kind of reminds me of that uh, very beautiful map So for now, I'm gonna say this is my favorite map that might change but but we'll see so uh, Let me know if you haven't already answered, you know, what's your favorite map? What what maps have you guys enjoyed playing the most and while you're at it? What are your favorite game types? Well, I grab a drink of water there uh, What what are the, your favorite game types? Uh, this regicide is brand new. This is the first time I'd ever played it in this game that you're seeing here. And it's a lot of fun because it's it's uh, kind of strategic and tactical while incorporating, you know, just those raw shooter skills. So I, I kind of like that because I like to play a smart game where you have to think about what you're doing and how you approach the situation. And you really have to do that here with regicide in, in addition to bringing, you know, your A game. And so it, it's a really fun game type. But, uh, you know, what game types do you guys enjoy? Do you like those King of the Hill games, the flag games? Let me know. I'm, I'm happy to make videos on any game types that, that you enjoy. So just let me know what game types you like, and uh, I'll see what I can do and put up some videos. So please leave those in the comments down below. Uh, let's see. What else did I want to keep? Uh, you know, the other thing I want to mention, a couple things, uh, a couple observations that I mentioned that nobody else is talking about. One of them is that, uh, you know, it seems like it's very, very easy to run out of ammunition in this game. And the reason for that is that everybody has their own custom loadout. So nobody, you know, it's very rare that people are using the same weapons. Now watch this little sequence here. I have virtually no shields. My shields are gone. And I'm able to pick up a really stellar double kill. I mean, I'm lobbing grenades at the floor. I'm shooting people. I get my overshield at that 30 second mark. I'm melaying people, beating them down, getting kills. That was a real nice sequence here. This is what really propelled me to uh, a first place here at the end of the game. But like I was saying with the, the ammunition, it's really easy to run out of ammunition because everybody's got their custom loadouts. Everybody's using different weapons. And so once you run out of ammunition, a lot of times there's no other weapons like that on the map for you to go and clean up. So make sure that you're always switching out those weapons before you run out of ammunition because there's nothing worse than having somebody in your crosshairs and running out of ammunition. And you just hear that click, click, click. Uh, nothing worse in the world. So make sure you're always keeping an eye on your ammunition and uh, make sure you switch those weapons out before you run out because uh, you know, you're gonna run out much more frequently with the way that this game is set up than you will in prior Halo games. Well, that's it for today. I do have a lot of other tips and tricks videos on my channel already. So go check those out if you haven't already. I've got a lot more videos on the way, so make sure that you've subscribed. Please add this video to your favorites. Please like and comment at the same time. Thanks for watching. Halo Reach Shooter signing out. I'll see you next time.